Hey y'all, this is Joe out here in the barn, out at St. Bernard Acres. Welcome back to the channel, welcome to the barn. Um, this is Sunday, August 15th, and I wanted to come out because today was supposed to be not a rainy day. They were wrong. Um, it's nice and cool, beautiful, you know, temperature wise, but one of the things I want to do is change this monstrosity out. This has helped greatly with the raccoon problem, but there's still one that can get up here. So I'm going to try something different. I come out here, there's food in the bowl, there's water. I get him a can of food. He acts like he's been starving to death. Don't believe him. He's eating fine. Um, but I'm going to try to, you know, I can see where their paws have been. They climb up these table legs and try to get up here. They can't get up here. One of them has managed to stand up, somehow reach out, and get up here. Um, I don't know how to knock down some stuff. So I'm going to go number three, a third idea. It doesn't involve this. I have to make something new, so y'all hang out, see what I do here. And we'll see if number three will foil the raccoons and keep them away. But I'll be back. All right. Well, okay. Welcome to the basement of the barn. <laughs> so let me tell you what my idea was. I got all this 4 inch Schedule 80 PVC pipe from Gary. I got, there's like eight, ten foot sections of it. The city that he lives in was going to throw away after they did a water project. And he took it and gave it to me. So the table is set up at 42 inches. Creamer has no problem jumping up there and getting on the table to eat. If I made legs 42 inches out of this PVC, the raccoons are not going to be able to climb up this. They're not going to be able to do it. I make a wide enough table, big enough table to put four of these legs underneath it, that high, and I take a big thing of laminate and go all the way around it to where they, even if they did manage to get up that, they're not going to be able to reach out and grab the edge of the table. 42 inches is too high for them to stand up and grab onto and pull themselves up. So, I went to Lowe's and I bought this 4 inch to 2 inch reducer. Let me tell you something about Lowe's and lowering lumber prices. Yes, Lumber prices are starting to creep back down. They're probably about 50% above pre-COVID prices right now. So they have been coming down, but everything else is going up. I mean, plumbing supplies, electrical, hardware, everything is going up while lumber's dropping. So they're going to get you regardless. These things were $9 a piece. Nine dollars, mind you, for that. And I had to buy a three-inch hole saw to cut the plywood. You know, the idea is set this on top of them, cut three-inch holes in plywood to set over this. So the plywood would sit on top of this. And twenty dollars for that three-inch hole saw. So I come out here, and guess what? This four-inch Schedule 40 PVC does not fit over this 4 inch Schedule 80. The outside diameter of this is too wide to fit in here. I guess the inside diameter is the same, but this being so much thicker, that doesn't fit on it. So that blows that whole plan. <laughs> but the Almost $60, well, $50 and some change that I spent because of our discount. 
I can at least go back to Lowe's and put that, get that back on my Lowe's card. So, you know, just what's that they say about plans of mice and men? <laughs> so now I have to do something different. I'm thinking cut my legs still at 42 inches, cut a piece of plywood at 3 feet by 4 feet. That's plenty big enough. Right? Take my legs, they'll be like a frame underneath it. Uh, leave, you know, six or eight inches outside of the legs. Screw these in on both sides. You know, have these legs in this little frame like. And then screw the sheet of plywood on top of this. I would still accomplish what I wanted to. But then, the only money I'm out is the cost of the, you know, two inch screws or whatever I use. So that might, it might still work. I mean, I'm going to have to build my frame to go around the top of them and I'm going to have to build a frame to go around the bottom to keep it uh, steady. I might take another sheet of plywood and screw for a bottom. But I don't think those raccoons are going to be able to climb up that PVC that high. We'll find out. Let me do some cutting. If I can. Of course, no pen. No pencil. I want to go with 42 inches. Well, not exactly straight, but it'll work. That'll work. Now, let me turn this around. Man, that stuff stinks. Whoo! Hope it isn't toxic. Don't need to keep a marker out. So I've decided, based on the material that I have, these are 36 inches long, and these I'm going to cut to 24 inches long. So my base is going to be 2 feet by 3 feet. I mean, creamer doesn't need that much space. Uh, and hopefully I can cut these, or am I going to hit a nail? Because... This being that oak, the nails break off before they come out. So let's see where 24 inches puts me. Yes, that's a clean area.
This will make a good top for it. I don't have to cut anything, I'll just use that. Because that is Seven inches by 36 inches, so that'll leave six eight inches around. All right, all right, let's see if I can figure out how to screw these together now by myself. Obviously, going to have to get down on the floor. At least for the first couple ones. Go just a little bit above it and kind of flush. Good. Try to get a couple more in. You know what? They ain't perfect, but they're perfectly good for me. Yep. Easier to screw through the PVC than it is the 
oak. those put together. He hopped right up here without a problem. I got to put a little frame around the bottom and that's just perfect. I don't think a raccoon could climb up that. I don't think a raccoon is going to be able to get on this now. But just to be sure I'm going to try to put some laminate on here. See if I can make this work. Damn, how much do I have here? Alright. Let's see if I can get this on here by myself. I think we have a winner here. This PVC, yeah, it's not going anywhere. I don't think they can climb up. Their little claws are not going to be able to get in through this stuff. My uh, saws all barely did. And if there's a problem, I have uh, plenty of extra wood. I mean, I'll make a frame for the bottom. I just don't, don't want to give them anything to stand on if I don't have to. This way they have nothing. They can't reach up and grab anything because they can't get around this this uh, laminate. You're not jumping on me. Hang that one up, buddy. He's done that before. Uh, so yeah, this is run number three. Uh, a raccoon proof feeder for a creamer. Now I gotta set the trail cam up so I can keep an eye on it and see if they can actually get in here. But that's the gist of what I wanted to make. If I have to do the bottom, I will. I'm not going to yet because I really don't think it's necessary. I was gonna put something on the bottom just because it's so unlevel in here. But, I don't know, I can just lay a piece of wood down there and set it on that. You happy now? Huh? Them old coons aren't going to be able to get you. I wanted to explain to people. Now, I went yesterday and got my second shot. And when I mentioned I got my first shot, man, people were like crazy. I got some nuts on my channel. Uh, my son said, but I made a personal choice to get the vaccine based upon my research, not what any one person told me, not what any one news channel told me, none of that. I researched it the best I could. I made the decision to get it. That's all. I'm not telling you you should get it. I'm not telling you you shouldn't. I'm telling you you're an adult and you have to make up your own mind. But I don't care whether you get it or not. I'm not going to shame you. I'm not going to disown you. I'm not going to defriend you. I'm not going to unsub you. I don't, you know, be, I can be in favor of the shot and totally against any kind of mandate to get it. It's a person's choice. You know, and when they realize that's what this is and should be, maybe they'll quit talking about this mandating crap. But 
you know, if my decision to get the shot based on my personal research and my personal situation that dictated me getting the shot, if that offended you, then goodbye. You know, your decision not to get the shot doesn't offend me. And I'm not going to tell you you're stupid. I'm not going to tell you you're going to die. You know, I'm going to support the fact that you didn't want to get it. And that's your absolute right not to get it. I'm not going to try to convince you to get it. I'm not going to tell you you should. You know, what I'm telling you is because I decided to do it, you know, act like a grown-up. That's what you got to start doing. Anyway, that's my rant about it. This, I would, you know, yesterday I got to say, so my arm is sore. Uh, I don't know if you could tell when I was putting that thing together for creamer. My joints are a little stiff. Uh, I don't know if that's from all the work it out I've been doing. <laughs> all the walking and riding the bike and everything. That they're just starting to stiffen up on me. I have a feeling it's, you know, a side effect of this shot, and it'll go away tomorrow. Uh, it was a lot worse yesterday. So, you know, if my arm's a little sore, and I got a little soreness in my joints, you know, my 64-year-old joints, that's okay. If I turn into a zombie tomorrow, that's okay. You know, again, I'm 64. If the way I look at it, and this is the way I have to look at it, you know, and some of you guys might not agree with this, but if I live another 40 years, that's okay. If I live another 50 years, that's okay. If I live another 20 years, that's okay. If I live another 20 minutes, that's okay. I'm happy. I'm happy with how my life has turned out and all the things I've gotten to do, are there still a lot of things I'd like to do? Absolutely. Here comes Creamer. Um, sure, I'd like to. But you know what? If God decides I don't need to, then that's okay. I won't. You know, I'm not afraid of it by any stretch of the imagination. I was more afraid of living, you know, the way I grew up and everything. We had more fear of living put us than fear of dying. And I guess that's carried over. But, uh, yeah. You know, grow up. You know, you want me to fight for your choice, for your ability to make a choice, but then you want to condemn me for making a choice. You know? So I said, grow up. You know? Some of you need to grow a pair. <laughs> but uh, that's it. That's That's all I got to say about it. I wasn't afraid to take the shot. I, you know, put it off a long time because I did a lot of research. And research told me I could go ahead and do it. My research did. Yours might not. You know, we all do differently. But anyway, I got creamer squared away. It's starting to rain. And I'm going to get out of here. Is that all right, creamer? Yeah. Uh, remember to like, share, comment, subscribe, ding the bell, do flip-flops and somersaults and all that kind of crap. Uh, but do like it. I understand that that helps in the, the new algorithms. So even if you don't like it, give it a thumbs up and tell me why you didn't like it. <laughs> and we'll find out how this uh, raccoon proofing number three works. But I'm out here. I hope y'all have a had a great weekend this Sunday afternoon. And I hope you have a good week coming up. God bless. God bless America. I'm out.